when we're recording tomorrow, Crew Five is launching. Yep. Uh, so that uh, that happened. That's that's the first time we're going to be having a Russian on the space on the uh, on the Crew Dragon um, launching. It's the mm-hmm. first time I've uh, a Russian's launched on a U.S. rocket since two thousand um, since the space shuttle retired. I don't remember which one was actually the last crew rotation, um, but uh, yeah, it was towards the end. And uh, that, that's launching tomorrow. So all day coverage is going to be happening on NASA. Like they, yep. they don't. I don't know what. Do you know what? You know what time is launch? Uh, right now it is scheduled for twelve p.m. on the dot. Um, I'll actually be on site for this one to to check it out. So nice. uh, hopefully there's no delays. Weather's pretty good right now. I mean, it's actually been even cool. I don't want to jinx mm-hmm. it, but it's been feeling it's pretty been, nice out here today. It's been fifty sixties up here in Wisconsin. So oh, wow. I'm excited. Getting I'm actually crispy. I like yeah. Just the leaves are turning, so I gotta make I gotta get my, get my drones out and get some drone footage. But nice. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. I, so oh man, I think they start streaming like. Is it like eight or nine hours beforehand? Yeah, it'll be streaming, yeah. and I'm sure SpaceX will oh, have their own gosh. stream kicking I didn't off pretty early I, as well. Yeah, that's when. Yeah, NASA and SpaceX will start at the same time. Oh man, I just I didn't. Even th- I'm like, oh, tonight I'll just I'll think about coverage for tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be an early morning for me. Um, yeah, can't wait. So, yeah, that that launches tomorrow. We'll all be there for coverage. Oh, that's gonna be uh, yep. so two NASA astronauts. Um, interesting. And, um the commander of the flight and i just blanked on her name so let me quickly look up the command she uh if i remember correctly she was supposed to command a boeing flight hmm. she did not know this do, 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 do you want me to educate you yes i did not know this. okay uh it is uh oh sorry she's the uh the pilot i believe yes so she was expected to be on the first crewed flight for uh starliner uh but delays uh, have pushed that back to maybe beginning of next year. Um, hopefully, Sounds like Artemis. Yeah. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it was. It, yeah, at least I mean, that was like the. I guess no one. Everyone's been asking if Artemis will launch before uh, Starship, but no one's asking if Boeing if Artemis will launch before. Yeah, Boeing. no kidding, right? Boeing's got. I guess like Boeing's gonna launch the both, radar. but. Yeah, well, I guess technically like Boeing's launching, but Starliner, I guess. Yeah, so she was supposed to be um, on Starliner as the pilot, um, and so now she's going to be the she's now the pilot of uh, of Crew Five. She's going to be the first Native American woman to go to space. Awesome, uh, which is really awesome to see that happening. Um, and so, yeah, uh, who else is? Uh, let me go back to the uh, the crew. We have uh, Jessica Sandra from NASA. He is the commander. Um, Oh, we're gonna butcher. Let's ready for butchering some names. Uh, Kirichi Wak- Wakata uh, from Japan. He is going to be the uh, first flight in, um, mission specialist uh, from JAXA, and then Anna uh, Kakina. I think you pronounce that name. Uh, she is uh, the second mission specialist from Roscosmos. So awesome. uh, that is happening tomorrow. Um, super. I mean, always excited to see that they're going to bring the uh, the. I think we're at. I think there's. There's seven on the space station right now, so that'll bring them up to ten. Sorry, eleven uh, for a short period of time before Crew Four comes back down. So yeah, that like happens tomorrow. 